My name is Justin Shukat. And this is the story of how I traveled halfway across the planet only to watch a sunrise in a country I was told never to visit. Let's get you back to our breaking story out of northern Pakistan. A heavy snowstorm has claimed the lives of nearly two dozen tourists. Pakistan's climate minister has told the BBC one place on the highway that the world's most dangerous country. Pakistan. 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 As a kid, I was lucky to grow up in Canada. I spent most of my free time in the mountains with my family. Once I had graduated, I spent years of my life working a job I absolutely hated. The only escape I had was the 56 hours I got off every weekend. I'd spend them solo hiking in the mountains, just me and my camera. I didn't know it back then, but I got to see the world in a very different perspective than most people my age. Traveling to Pakistan is terrifying. This is a place for most Westerners that has been painted in many negative ways. We're not just going to Pakistan, we're going to one of the most remote places in the country. From the first car ride to the roads we crossed, it was obvious that this wasn't going to be a laid back adventure in the mountains. Even our transportation was beginning to go out just as the beginning of the trip was happening. Here, we need to prepare for absolutely everything. Extreme floods. Old bridges collapsing. So I'm here with Brendan, a fellow photographer and a friend who is going to share this experience with me. We start the trek with a sense of excitement. As soon as we encounter another obstacle, the bridge we were supposed to cross today has been destroyed by the growth of the raging river. The locals have quickly built a cable cart to cross. This isn't your regular trekking scenario. On our first camp, we set up our tents and shortly engulfed by a sandstorm. This is going to be a special adventure, something we may never experience again. and we have already started to feel the discomforts of being outside of our comfort zone thousands of miles away from home. The food was a shock to our systems. The altitude made each breath harder and harder. And this is for altitude and this yeah. is for diarrhea. Yeah. Take one. Take it until you, you have none. but we had no choice but to keep moving. As we pushed through the physical shocks that our bodies experienced, the energy of the group slowly shifts. Being in these mountains, you feel very, very small. The days and the walks grow longer and longer, never knowing how long left you have until the next camp. But being immersed in these mountains causes time to fade away.
adventure photographer is more than just taking photos. You have an opportunity to find yourself surrounded by the things that inspire you to create with them. Brennan, this is this is a good one. It's a unique path. It allows you to experience life in a way that opens your eyes to a lifestyle that most people can't comprehend. Now, I won't sugarcoat this life. It is not an easy lifestyle. But, all the pain and suffering you'll go through will be worth it at the end of the day. Once we had reached a foot of K2, we enter our final days of the journey. Little did we know, this was about to be the hardest part yet. When standing in the Valley of Gods, you get to witness some of the most deadliest mountains known to mankind. You are surrounded by death and yet an odd sense of excitement and wonder that only a climber will understand. Murmurs travel through the camps of fellow mountaineers who had perished trying to achieve what all of us one day yearn to experience. You feel the anxiety but yet excitement of what is to come, knowing the consequences of what will happen if things take a turn for the worst. Inside the Gondogora La, we were totally bound to the weather. For us, the coming storm forced us to move faster ahead than initially a plan. Our guides warned us that conditions wouldn't be ideal to make this climb. This was our only chance to make this short weather window. It's funny, you always hear other people telling you that your dreams are unrealistic, too risky, or too scary. But please remember this. It's not death that most people are terrified of. It's reaching the end of your life only to realize that you never truly live. But once you reach that moment, you know you're living, 
even if it's just one summit, one second, or one shot.